parodies, original animations, let's plays, game development, game design tutorials, and more. Join the Mad Hand House Discord server. Oh, let's do this. Welcome, um, game developers, to Doug Teaches Next. Couple of announcements uh, before I get started. One, um, next week, uh, like I'm gonna take a two week break uh, uh, for multiple reasons. One, to develop Death TV some more. Two, to spend some time uh, with my folks as this week is Christmas and I do intend to take off uh, a day off from Christmas. Three, just to, uh, you know, collect myself and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, that said, we are, um, uh, like, we're gonna be cloning, uh, House of the Dead, thank you. We're gonna be cloning House of the Dead in this mini-tutorial series. What that means is we're gonna be making a, we're gonna be make, tackling How to Rail Shooter. Now, in this part, we're actually going to be creating the custom character, and we're going to fire the Ripper Gun based on the mouse location. That said, let's get started. We are going, first we're going to right click, we're going to add a blueprint class, and this will be of type character, and we'll just say rail character. Let's load this bitch up, and why do you do this on me? Fuck, I fucking... Uh, okay, whenever you see this, just uh, click open blueprint, uh, full blueprint editor. Fucking really, whatever. Up yours, Unreal. <laughs> uh, now, if you're wondering what's gonna go in here, uh, it is going to be a camera. That's it. Yeah. Serious? Yes. Because, like, you have to understand, most real shooters, uh, these d even these days, uh, they don't even bother like having a main character that you control. There are a couple of exceptions. I think uh, House of the Dead Overkill was one of them. Um, and I think uh, some of the later Time Crisis games were one of them where you possess the character, but like in the early days, they never had a character to possess. Why? Because you, you, you're just shooting. There's no point in having a character like... Uh, this isn't like an FPS where you can see the arms or whatever. They just don't bother with a, char with a character at all. That said, uh, we're going to go into the event graph, right? So, <coughs> excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click, and I believe the fire key is. Yeah, we do have a fire key, but just for shits and giggles, if you don't, I'm just going to type in left mouse button. Left mouse button. So, what we're going to do is, first things first, we are going, well, let's spawn the actor. Actor from class, and, uh, what did I call it, Ripper, Ripper Gun Projectile. And let's go to Ripper Gun Projectile, and I'm pretty sure I called this thing Alt Fire, yep. And then from there, I just drag out the return value, type in Alt Fire. So that way, the projectile velocity will actually activate. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the controlled pawn. Yes. Get controlled. Get control. Wait, what? Yeah, get controlled pawn. And I'm going to make sure contact sens sensitive is off. There you are, controlled pawn. And then from there, we get actor location, and I'm going to tick context sensitive again. That's said and done. Now we have to get hit uh, result under cursor by channel. I'm going to untick uh, context sensitive. And so I try get hit result under cursor by channel. And now we are going to break hit result to contact 
Tick context sensitive again. Jesus. So, wait, hold on. Hmm. Why not? Because in the. <clears throat> why not just get the camera's forward vector? Um, okay, so if you're thinking that, here's here's the problem with that. Um, while the camera, while the camera's forward vector, um, it basically, ugh, shit, what the fuck was I trying to, while the camera's forward vector gets everything in front of the camera, the mouse cursor, keep in mind that the camera itself is in a fixed position. The same cannot be said about the mouse cursor, as it's ever flowing and ever moving. So wherever the, <clears throat> wherever the, mouse uh, cursor is, then that's where you want the projectile to spawn. Ah! Mm. So now what we want to do is we want to take the return value from get actor location and we want to find look at rotation. Why? So that will, again, it, you know, it'd be, again, it's easier to, well, it's not easier because we could get the forward vector and basically say we don't need the uh, look at rotation, but because we're using the mouse cursor, um, you know, as the main thing, granted the rotation is going to be, you know, following the mouse cursor, da 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 da, but, um, uh, we still need to find its look at rotation rather because, um, granted, you know, the forward vector only always looks forward and the rotation is always going to be set. Same can't be said for the mouse cursor. We, ge we, we genuinely need this in order to make the transform for this as well. Um, because, as you can see, we need a spawn transform. So, what do we get the, uh, so we have the starting point being the control, uh, the tr controlled rotation. Um, but we need to actually have a target. Uh, the target is actually the location of where we're clicking. So we plug that into target. <clears throat> and then after that is said and done, we need to make a transform. So let's do exactly that. Make transform. All right, so we have our rotation. Uh, we need a location. We can actually have, we can just plug this into here, but like, just to be on the safe side, let's hit plus. Let's hit vector by vector. You might be asking why. Um, keep in mind, we don't want this to spawn like on us. We want to spawn a little ahead of ourselves. So you can, like, a distance is like between 50 and 100. I'm just going to use 100 just to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to plug this into location. From there, uh, huh, I have a notification on my phone. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, oh, that was nice of the, that was nice of them. Wow. Oh, um, someone was just, uh, sent me a nice little comment thing on my channel. That's, that's, that's nice of them. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, so then we take this and plug this in to spawn transform. And you know what? Let's add a sound. I'm just gonna type in play sound 2D. And what kind of sound is it? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use an explosion sound. I'll use explosion one. Fuck it. Let's compile. Hmm? How dare you? We can't use it's not a uh, self is not a player controller. Uh huh. So that's what you want, is it? Let's try player character. Let, let's get the player character. Can we? Nah. All right. So ch -ch -ch -ch. now nah! I didn't want to double click. Get uh player controller. Let's see if uh, let's plug those in. That's weird. Oh uh, yeah, because I never actually had to use this when I was making on the rails dating sim with a gun. Uh, I just used all of this and it didn't give me an error. <laughs> well, whatever. I'll use uh, get player controller. See what happens. Next, I am going to plug this into here, and then I'm going to possess this pawn by opening level blueprint, and then going to create a reference. Uh, I'm going to get the player controller. Now I'm going to possess this bastard, possess, in pawn, you, and then let's plow. Let's compile this, and let's play. 
Oh, look at that. We have our... Okay, Doug. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was the name of that bunny? What? <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of that bunny character from uh, Dragon Ball Super during the Universe tour Tournament. Because in the Japanese dub version, whenever he was when he was fighting Frieza, he was literally like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. Oh, that was good. Uh, let's go back into real character real fast. So, oh, we can't get good. Uh, yeah, well, hmm. We could fuck with it some more, if you really wanted to. Like, we can fuck with it scaling and stuff like that. Or if you wanted to just say, um, get the impact point or something instead. Ah, I don't know. We can. Let's, uh, let's try plugging in the impact point. Why? Yeah, just for shits and giggles at this point. Okay. Uh, Hmm. I wonder if I could, uh, instead, let's try self. Oh. Really? I can't use self? Bruh. Ah. You can't use self. Hmm. Well, anyway. I'm happy with how that turned out. Uh, we... <laughs> that said... <laughs> oh, that was fun. Uh, um... Shit. What the fuck was I going to do? Oh, right. Because um, next time, what we will do uh, is actually move this on a set path, right? We're actually going to move this on a path. And then we'll actually... Um, so, next, uh, tomorrow what we're going to do is, um, again, move this on a path. This will move here. And then we'll kill, like, two of these guys. And then it'll, and then we can move on another path, and uh, we'll make it rotate as well. Uh, but yeah, as far as that, we are on our way to creating, to cloning um, House of the Dead, Time Crisis, that whole shit, just the rail shooters in general. In any case, end it here, narrator. And there you have. Wait a minute. Are you recording? Oh shit. <laughs>